if you consider I've never been in combat, sir. I make maps and I translate, and that's... I need someone who speaks French and German. Yes, sir. My two guys were killed. Yes, sir, it's just that I've never... I haven't held a weapon since basic training, sir. Did you fire the weapon in basic training? Yes, sir. Well, then get your gear. Yes, sir. Sir, may I bring... May I bring my typewriter, sir? side of things, Corporal. Yes. For one thing, you don't need to carry those. You'll need that. I need this. Yes, sir. Hey, hey, you want your head blown off, you fancy little fuck? Don't you ever fucking touch me with those little rat claws again? Get the fuck back in formation. I'm just wondering where you're from. Arza? Is it, uh... Hey, drop dead, Corporal. Gotcha. And another thing, every time you salute the captain, you make him a target for the Germans. I'm so sorry. do us a favor, don't do it. Especially when I'm standing next to him. Capiche? Hey, Capiche. Corporal, what's your book about? <laughs> hey, what's your work? Sorry. rifles? Actually, it's about the... It's supposed to be about the bonds of brotherhood that developed between soldiers during war. Brotherhood? <laughs> <laughs> what do you know about brotherhood? <laughs> Get a little of this guy, fish. Why don't you ask the captain where he's from? Yeah, ask the captain. I'll tell you everything you want to know about him. <laughs> you want to explain the math of this to me? I mean, where's the sense of risking the lives of the eight of us to save one guy? 20 degrees. Anybody want to answer that? Drive it. Think about the poor bastard's mother. Hey, Doc, I got a mother, all right? I mean, you got a mother. Sarge has got a mother. I mean, shit, I bet even the captain's got a mother. Well, maybe not the captain, but the rest of us got mothers. There's not a reason why there's but to do and die. <laughs> what the fuck is that supposed to mean, Corporal, huh? We're all supposed to die, is that it? Papa's talking about our duty as soldiers. Yes, sir. We all have orders and we have to follow them. That supersedes everything, including your mothers. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Even if you think the mission's foobar, sir? Especially if you think the mission's foobar. What's foobar? Oh, it's German. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Never heard of that. Sir? I have an opinion on this matter. Well, by all means, share it with the squad. Over my way, thank you, sir. This entire mission is a serious misallocation of valuable military resources. All right, go on. Well, it seems to me, sir, that God gave me a special gift, made me a fine instrument of warfare. Riven, pay attention now. This is the way to gripe. Continue, Jackson. Well, what I mean by that, sir, is you used to put me in this here sniper rifle anywhere. Up to and including one mile of Adolf Hitler with a clear line of sight, sir. Pack your bags, fellas. War's over. Amen. Oh, that's brilliant, Bumpkin. Hey, so, Captain, what about you? I mean, you don't gripe at all? I don't gripe to you, Riven. I'm a captain. He's a chain of command. Gripes go up, not down. Always up. You gripe to me. I gripe to my superior officer, so on, so on, so on. I don't gripe to you. I don't gripe in front of you. You should know that as a ranger. I'm sorry, sir, but, uh... Let's say you weren't a captain, or maybe I was a major. What would you say then? Well, in that case, I say this is an excellent mission, sir, with an extremely valuable objective, sir. 
Worthy of my best efforts, sir. Moreover, I feel heartfelt sorrow for the mother of Private James Ryan. I'm willing to lay down my life and the lives of my men, especially you, Ryden, to ease her suffering. He's good. I love him. <laughs>